What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We have a beautiful Labor Day weekend here and as you can see we have our 2021 Civic Type R and we are going racing at Gingerman Raceway and you're going to want to stay tuned for this one. Woohoo! Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nice. So we uh we ended up getting here a little later than we wanted. Um didn't get here till almost seven o'clock at night, but we did have an over six and a half hour drive. We hit Actually, it ended up being closer to eight hours because we had two hours of uh, crappy traffic for Labor Day weekend in Chicago, but we ended up getting here. We just got set up. We got our um, tents. Uh, we got our cooking stoves. Um, yeah, and kind of show you guys how we have it set up. This thing's kind of cool. It hooks up to your easy up. Pretty nice, nice little rig here. You can put uh, four of them, one on each corner if you really wanted to. Cody's got his tent over here. Um, and I think what we may go and do right now, we may do a quick uh, lap around the track um, with our scooters and check it out. I have never personally been here, neither has Cody. So this is totally new. Um, we did do some cooling mods in the last video and I'm hoping that will help our um, overheating issues that we experienced at Blackhawk Farms earlier in the year. So uh, yeah, we'll do a quick lap around the track and uh, see what it looks like. Like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast, and that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. <laughs> All right, so we are just gearing up to go out for our parade laps. Basically, it's just a, you know, 40 mile an hour little lap around the track just to kind of learn it. Um, can't go crazy, nothing like that. Being that we've never drove on track here, uh, it's definitely a good idea to do the, to take advantage of the parade lap. So we'll go out there, spin a couple hot laps, and then uh, hopefully our session will start soon and we'll actually be able to pick up the pace and, and have some fun. So we're out here uh, taking our first couple parade laps. Just kind of cruising along. Can't really go over 40 miles an hour, unfortunately, but at least learn kind of somewhat the racing line. Just coming in, uh, I believe, into turn two right now. This is gonna be fun today. 
Daddy's excited. <laughs> it's so hard to gauge the racing line too when you're only going 40 miles an hour because it's not where you would go when you're going as fast. You can try and mimic it, but it is kind of hard to completely gauge everything. But it's uh, definitely fun. We uh, just got done with our little hot lap parade lap session. Um, we are the next session up. So we're gonna get geared up and uh, roll up to the uh, pit lane. I am gonna have Cody ride with me who's behind the camera right now. This is gonna be his first time ever riding with me uh, out on track. Uh, I told him if he gets sick that, he, that I'll pull over in the pit lane and he can puke or get out or shit his pants, whatever he's gotta do. There is a working glove box here, so if he needs to empty his bowels, in there he can uh but yeah i'm super excited we're gonna go out on this first session and just kind of build our pace uh build tire temps that sort of thing and I'm, I'm curious to see how uh these hood spacers work on here so hopefully that helps with our cooling and uh i'll give you guys kind of some um I, or i'll let you know how it works that sort of thing but uh yeah we'll uh, be out there shortly As you can see, we crashed the Type R. It is totaled out. Can't run anymore today. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we uh, definitely overcooked it into turn 10. And I think we hit about 98 miles an hour. And I went to hit the brakes and there really was nothing there. I uh, locked the tires up and we slid right past uh, the apex. And instead of trying to turn to make the corner, which everybody said don't do if you're not gonna make it because they have sand out there and you'll roll. So we just went straight off, caught a little bit of air, enough, not much. So we, we slid off, we went straight. Uh, I was concerned about getting stuck in the sand because we don't really have a good way to get pulled out. Uh, so we kept our momentum in the sand and we drove out. Luckily, nothing is wrong with the car. Uh, we got a little bit of sand in the tires, but uh, nothing more than that. So uh, we're waiting for a second session. We'll get out there and uh, try to break the, I don't know, I think our best time was a 151. I was on track for like a sub, possibly sub 150 before we went off. 
So I'd like to do a sub 150 our first time here, get under that mark. Um, and I think we can do it. It's just, I'm having brake fade issues as well as overheating issues still. It definitely helped with the hood spacers, but it's not there yet. We're gonna have to do some actual mods to this, like a, a auxiliary radiator and the reverse flow, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, radiator hose. So we'll go out there, see what we can do, and uh, hopefully get under that sub 150 on this next session. All right, so we did uh, quite a bit better in that, that last run there. Um, we actually got our times below a 150. We, our best time was a 149, 255. So pretty good, definitely getting down there. Um, I think my goal for today might be to try to get to like a, maybe a 157, 158 something. Uh, I know the track is getting hotter so and the, tire, and the car is getting hotter and more heat soaked so it'd be probably pretty tough. I probably should have done it this morning but being that I don't know the track, kind of hard to do that. Um, my line selection isn't perfect yet. I definitely need to clean up a lot of stuff. Um, when I was following the line of the Rudd's Racing guys, I was trying to you know stay with them where they were going um, and yeah, just following them I was able to to see what where I was kind of not going uh, a lot of corners I should be way further out than I am like two car lengths I'm in I'm in probably 20 feet no probably not quite that much probably 10 to 15 feet in the wrong spot on track so I just really need to get some more laps out there get comfortable running the edge of the track in the corners uh, that sort of thing but uh, I think I'm able to push about two laps before the car starts to get warm again. I don't like pushing it more than that, it's just not ideal. I could feel the brakes start to get a little spongy again. We do need to flush the brake fluid. I have not done that. We're running dot three brake fluid or whatever it is that comes factory um, in the car. So brake flush with some uh, good, uh, probably Motul fluid, something like that should help a lot. But uh, yeah, we are having fun. It's nice to not go off track. Uh, we'll be going out for the third session here shortly. We're just gonna, we're doing a little lunch break. So once we get done with that, we'll go back out.
Well, we had a little bit of drama in that one. I mean, it wouldn't be a day at the track if you didn't have drama, of course, right? So in that one, we were out there, you know, kind of just running around. I was trying to find some people to, to battle with, and I got uh, kind of with uh, one of the couple, like one of the Ruds guys and then uh, one of the Rev Match guys, both of them in, in Civics, and I was kind of battling with them there, and all of a sudden, I come into turn 10, which is the turn that we went off earlier, uh, and it just, just basically slowed almost to a halt. Uh, it would only let me rev to like 1500 RPMs, and pretty much every warning you could think of from the headlight warning to rev match warning to just about everything came across the dash. So I'm like, oh my God, what is going on here? So pulled off the track, let her cool down. We, I found a guy, the, actually the guy in the red Civic that I was battling with, he had an OBD2 scanner. We scanned it and we're thinking it was not overheating an issue. It was a, I didn't, might not have enough gas in it because I had just under half a tank. And I think with that high G load corner, I'm pretty sure we didn't have enough fuel in it. So what I did was they actually sell race gas here. So I dumped uh, about four gallons of 100 octane unleaded race fuel in there because that's what they got here. And we're gonna go out there and try that in the next one, see if that is enough. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming it was that because they had fuel rail codes and whatnot. But uh, we're gonna go out for one more session uh, before we pack up. So we'll go out there and try and put some, some fast laps in right away maybe. And I just wanna do some battling more or less. Just hang with the guys, have fun out there, and um, hopefully we can get some cool shots for y'all. So we just got done with our last session of the day. Holy shit, a lot of fun, had a blast. Uh, I didn't get down into the 148s. I struggled with overheating issues and I kind of wanted to uh, get some, you know, a little bit of battling going on, which I did and it was so much fun, so, so much fun. I can't even like express how much fun it is to be like with a group of cars right on their ass. They're behind you, you know, you're like, it's just, it's so fun. So, um, yeah, we ran in the 149s today, which totally fine with me. Uh, we'll get down. I, I think once we get the cooling issues figured out, we get some fresh brake fluid in there, maybe do a little bit different setup with the pads. Um, I think we can get down into the mid 140s. So, but that was so fun. Uh, I just want to give a special thanks to uh, Rudd's Racing and uh, Rev Match for hosting this event here at Gingerman. Uh, thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you to my fiance. Thank you to Cody behind the camera and doing the editing on this video. Uh, hopefully I didn't scare you too much <laughs> with he our little- throw up in the glove box. Yeah. He, he didn't throw up, so that's good. Um, yeah, so glad cars in one piece. Uh, we are gonna make our long trek home now, which is anywhere from six to eight hours, depending on traffic, so yeah. I am super excited to get the Integra tuned the end of the month. Um, more than likely, it'll probably just get tuned at King Motorsports. I'd really like to have Rudd's Racing do it, but it's just, it's so far away from me that it's easier for me to have King do it. Um, 
But uh, yeah, we'll get that tuned and we'll hopefully get that out maybe on track yet this year. I'd like to do some more runs this uh, fall. So uh, as far as the hood spacers went, um, I have to say, I mean, I think they made a slight improvement, but we definitely still have cooling problems. So we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, probably do an auxiliary radiator, the reverse flow hoses is what uh, DJ from Rudd's Racing was say, saying. So we'll probably do that at some point, maybe this winter, because it's not super cheap. But uh, yeah, just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully uh, it was fun and informative. And uh, we'll probably catch you on the next one, y'all. Woohoo!